most of the things that I own, I, I picked up from um, either my family or the thrift stores. And I don't know, some of the things that I own, it makes them even more precious because of where I got them. And I know a lot of you that follow me, whenever I show things in my videos, you know exactly where I was when I bought it exactly where I was when I found it and you know how I felt about it when I first saw it that's that's very beautiful to me it's it's very special wasn't born to be a fighter aiming higher with the F is lighter when I saw myself inside another then I knew what I had to do no, I needed to fight for you Just turn words into silence Running with no guidance Lovers without love One day, feel your heart go cold Tell you that it's over You need the hurt to me so happy to come talk to you today. Wow, I hope you had a good week and I hope you're looking forward to the weekend. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about uh, products that uh, we were using that perhaps we stopped using and what happened. Um, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but have you ever been going along and you're really happy, you know, your hair is working, your skin is looking pretty good and you like your makeup and then all of a sudden, the bottom drops out and you can't figure, well, what happened? I don't understand, you know? Uh, I was looking pretty good and then all of a sudden I'm not. I don't go back and look at my old videos, but um, there's a video that I did and I'll link it below um, in case you'd ever wanna look at it. But um, it's a video that I did on my report of six months using rosehip seed oil instead of Retin-A. And that was the time where I thought my skin looked the best. It had uh, the most natural uh, color to it. It was very even. Uh, and um, I didn't see such pronounced fine lines and wrinkles. And I was just very, very happy uh, with where I was in, in that particular time. So I thought to myself, okay, what was I using then that I'm not using now? What happened? So I really started to dig deep and I started to look like, well, okay, what was I using? You know, how come my skin looks so much better there than it does now? I thought I would tell you about the four products that I gave up, that I came back to, and I'm so happy that I did because they're wonderful products and they've been working for me. And I thought, you know, you might enjoy hearing um, my mistakes and how I corrected them. I did a whole video on why I wash my face with shea, natural shea butter soap and I'll link the video below. But I had given that up. And I remember in the spring, uh, I saw a product and it had a little squidgy with it and I thought, oh, this is cool. This I right on, anyway, so I switched. And I never went back to my natural shea butter soap and I don't know why, but it was a huge mistake. So I made sure I went out and I picked up uh, a new bar of shea butter soap and um, I have a six month supply now, so I'm not gonna be running out, but I um, this time I switched brands and I got the Out of Africa brand. And this is pure, all natural. Uh, amazing company this is under three dollars but I will never stop using shea butter soap so that was a huge mistake that I made but I'm back so the second thing that I stopped using was my almond oil almond oil for me and here is my little bottle of it almond oil for me is a very difficult oil to use it 
is very, to me, it's very uh, greasy, a little bit goes a long way, and it does not absorb into my skin right away. So um, I use my rosehip seed oil, and that absorbs very quickly and feels wonderful and warm. The almond oil is a much cooler oil, and it kind of just sits there, and I have to wait for it. So even though I know if you are using rosehip seed oil, you have to use almond oil because rosehip seed oil can give the appearance of slightly larger pores, and I knew that, but I decided, you know, I used it a little bit less, and I used it a little bit less until my almond oil use was non-existent. So, okay. I'm back on it. I don't use it seven nights a week. I use it four nights a week. And I think that has made such a difference. And I don't expect these changes probably to work overnight. But the thought that I gave up my almond oil and my shape butter soap there for a while, I, I really saw the difference and I really paid the price. The third product that I stopped using out of the blue is the tan oil butter that L'Oreal puts out. It looks like this. It is a very thick, luxurious, scented, oh, the smell is so beautiful. It smells like a garden of roses. It's very, very thick. It smells so good. It is very, very thick. There are 10 oils in this butter. And I knew how good this butter was when it came to glowing and hydration. But I thought, my thinking was, well, you know, summer is coming up. It's going to be humid. Uh, I'm not going to, I just need this in the winter. I really don't need it in the summer. But some of the oils in this are apricot oil, shea butter oil, rosehip seed oil. I mean, this is amazing. I started using this two weeks ago. I went back to this two weeks ago and I saw a difference right away in my hydration <laughs> and I use it on my neck. I can't believe I stopped using it on my neck. Anyway, it's just amazing. Have you ever done that? Have you ever been using products and they're working and then all of a sudden you go, hey, you know what? I think I'll just use this over here. And anyway, and the fourth product that I gave up so foolishly is the Neutrogena Microderm Abrasion System. And it is an apparatus, and it kind of looks like a very tiny Clarisonic. Uh, you turn it on, it has two different speeds. Um, you're going to buy, it's going to look like this, you're going to buy uh, 24 pads uh, for about $12, uh, refill pads. Uh, you put the pad on the end and you turn it on. I use, uh, I go around my face with this for about 8 to 10 minutes. And it's very powerful. It makes my face very red at first. In fact, I had to work up to 10 minutes. I could only do 2 minutes when I first started out. Anyway, I want to tell you why I gave this up. Now, I loved it. I used it for two years, and I was so proud of how firm my skin was for my age. I'm almost 62, and I was so proud of that. But I gave it up because I bought the Derma E uh, Sea Salt uh, Microdermabrasion Scrub, and that ran me $25, and I saw the reviews on it, and the reviews were great. Well, the first time I used it, wow, it was wonderful, and it really brightened me up. Well, the third or fourth time I used it, it was like, it was like ripping up my skin and it didn't feel healthy and I had a subscriber write and tell me she said be so careful with sea salt microdermabrasion you can actually damage your skin with that so I started to see absolutely no improvement at all from it in fact I felt like I was going the opposite way um, I have probably a third of the jar left and I think I'm just going to toss it. I don't think I'm going to use that anymore. But anyway, getting back to the product that I love that I gave up, um, I started to see less firmness in my face. So I went running back to my microdermabrasion system by Neutrogena and you know what? There is a friend of mine. She is a content creator on YouTube. And her name is Natalie, and she's from Canada, and she's my friend. And her channel is called um, uh, Natalie the Beauty Diva, and I will uh, list her channel below. But she has beautiful skin, and she is a huge fan 
of the Neutrogena microdermabrasion system. And she's a fan of it because it works. And I don't know how it works. You know, it's about $21 and change maybe to buy it. But, you know, it's a spa treatment that you can do for your face at home. But it gives so much firmness to your face and helps you exfoliate and uh, the look of pores and fine lines are so diminished. And I gave this up for two months. You know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an expert, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm, I'm just a gal in Michigan who's telling you just my opinion of what I think, you know, works and doesn't work. This week I have been trying out two Rimmel foundations and the first one that I tried today is the um, long lasting 25 hour makeup because you know we all you know have our makeup on for 25 hours. No, no we don't. Okay and then I'm going to compare it to this one tomorrow which is the uh, match uh, which is supposed to be uh, a brand new formula and it's supposed to make me look flawless so i can't wait until tomorrow things that you know i'm trying hard to show these days it's hard to tell what's on your mind why don't you stop pretend life this is what we plan i can see the end is coming down and if I don't look back, will you let me get away? You know, some people have told me that I'm a bit wordy in my reviews. <laughs> that probably is true. So um, I should try something that's very to the point and very succinct. Like, I got to try both of these foundations. I wore this one yesterday in the video. And today I am wearing this one. And the difference is like night and day. So this foundation is good. And this foundation is bad. How's that for succinct? <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much for all your wonderful comments last week about my blind date. You know, I really took so much of what you said to heart and it really did lift me up. It, it was wonderful. And uh, we were supposed to have a date Friday night, but that got switched to Saturday night. And um, Without going into detail, why don't I just say, you know, it just, um, it just wasn't meant to be. But, um, but I'm going to get out more and I'm going to start dating more and everything is going to be just fine. And you know what? A friend of mine, Joan, she's a content creator and she's a friend. And she has been asking me for a very long time to sit down and write a letter to the man that's out there that I love. And I haven't met him yet, and he hasn't met me. But she said, sit down and write a letter and talk about all his wonderful qualities and why you love him and why you'll love him forever and why he'll love you. And I thought that was just such a romantic idea. And I'm going to do that. You know, I was almost tempted to write it and then read it to you, but I didn't know if anybody would <laughs> really want to hear that. Probably not, um, but I thought it was just a lovely, lovely idea. You know, with her idea was that you know things that you put out into the universe sometimes, I don't know, they end up coming true. So you never know. So thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I so appreciate it, and I hope you have a wonderful brand new week. And when you're done doing all those wonderful things. I hope you come back and see me in Cooper, okay? Okay. Wasn't born to be a fighter Aiming higher Where the air feels lighter When I saw myself inside another Then I knew what I had to do No, I needed to fight for you Ears turn words into silence Running with no guidance Lovers without love One day Feel your heart go cold Tell you that it's
so 